Yeah, it's your boy AG, Corner Man Boxing. I'm here with my man Cleavon, Coach CJ Evans, Brooklyn's finest. First of all, thank you for your time, champ. How you feeling today? I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. How you doing, my brother? How you doing? I mean, good, man. It's a pleasure to have you. you know, thank you for your time. You know, we just want to let the fans know, you know what I mean? Let, let them know a little more about yourself, what you do in the community and stuff like that. Um, well, I'm a second generation coach. I started behind my father, which is Jimmy O'Farrell, which is AKA Jimmy O. He started Sterex City Boxing Club in East New York. Um, and I just followed behind him. He started teaching me before he passed away. He passed away in 2011. And about 2012, I got my coaching license and I've been coaching ever since. I coach little kids, I coach adults. Um, I coach people in wheelchairs, I coach handicapped, um, basketball, football, baseball, track. I even train for the armed forces, for the military, for the Navy, Marines, those that are trying to get into boot camp. I train for boot camp. I train um, a few people for fire department, uh, for their test. I train people for the police department test. So it's just not just boxing, mm. see? Oh, wow. CJ's boy is not just boxing. I don't just training boxing i train in whatever i need to do and whatever i need to do wow how long have you been doing this for well i started around in boxing around 2008 but when i really started training i started training around 2010 2011 my father passed away february 20th 2011 and i just been going strong ever since so 2012 is when i had my first coaching book and i started coaching from there in the amateurs and mainly i was training a lot of kids i still train some kids and i got a couple of adults and a lot of females so i think i'm doing okay i'm coming along slowly but i'm coming along right now now i'm sure you was always around the sport but when did you realize that that this is what you love this is what you want to work with well sad to say i wasn't always around the sport i didn't grow up around the sport like i said i started in the sport actually my first boxing gym, second boxing gym I ever walked into was my father's gym in 2008. Mm. And then from there, I just, it wasn't nothing. I was just doing it as just to have fun. I was doing it because it's my father's gym and he wanted me to work in his gym, which is Sterak City at the time. And it just transformed. When he passed away, it just, it just something in me wanted to do more of it. And then after a while, now I got, I'm doing my own low, I got my own logo, I have my own company, and I've been doing things dolo and in the way my father would do it, like each one teach one. I got four rules in my, in my camp, in my um, family as the CJ's boys as we call them. Mm -hmm. What it is is we don't lie. Each one teach one. You are your brother's keeper and we don't quit. Those are the four rules that I live my life by, and I try to train by those rules, and I teach kids by those rules as well as an adult. It's right. not about fighting. It's about using your brain. If you have to fight, you fight, but if you got to use your brain first. Wow, absolutely. Now, as far as a teacher or, or a trainer, what kind of goals or aspirations do you have in your career? Well, right now, I, I've had one... Wait a minute. Two champions. Mm -hmm. I worked with a Golden Gloves champion in 2014, which is Leslie. He won a 201 Golden Glove champion. I was part of that team. And um, I was part of Jordan Jordan Lopez, and he won the Pure Breed, a young kid that I trained. He won the Pure Breed belt when they had the Pure Breeds. That was a couple of years ago. But right now, I'm just trying to see if I can get up my team the right way and build them up into the nationals. I want the, uh, the local then be able to go to, to national, international, and everything like that, and then hopefully one day work with some pros. I have worked some pro fights and work corners, and I will be working with more pros as time progresses, but I do concentrate more on the kids and the young ones, the teenagers, more so than anybody. Mm. Now, as far as, as, as learning from other fighters or watching fighters, who are some of the guys you might have learned from other than, you know, your father and stuff like that? Well, I didn't learn from fighters. I learned from more coaches like Willie. I, I learned from Willie Vargas, uh, Larry, um, Woods, another coach named Woods. I learned that Larry's passed away. Mm. Larry the Panther and, and Woods, um, he passed away as well. Those are some of the people that helped me. Willie Vargas taught me how to wrap hands. I can wrap hands like a pro. Wow. Now, the way I wrap hands... It's a cast and it's built the way it's supposed to be built. And I've, been, I've done it for a couple of pros and they was like, yeah, I want you to wrap my hands all the time. <laughs> but um, 
that and there's a few other people. I got uh, Yoel Judah. Right. That I'm kind of under right now, and I'm I'm kind of working with him. He sees what I'm doing. He's guiding me a little bit, and he was good friends with my father. Him and my father would talk and do a lot of things and sit around and do a lot of things together for years and years to come. So. I mean, it's not. It's, it's a lot of people that I can't name everybody because I I try to find something that I can work with when it comes to somebody or whatever else. It might be this coach. I might see this little thing, mm -hmm. and that's how it is, really. Right. I have a few people that help me along the way, but a lot of the stuff I'm trying to teach myself, and right. <laughs> as I learned, and I try to make it comfortable for the way I want it, and then I do it the way I want to do it in my program. Absolutely. I mean, it's a learning experience every day, even All for the greatest day, coaches. They still learning. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I don't want to do nothing else but boxing ever since I got the bug. I got the bug a few years ago, <laughs> and truth be told, I don't want to do nothing else. I don't right. want to work for nobody else. I don't I don't want to have that 9 to 5 job. I want to do this right here and build up these kids and the women and, and the adults, and, and let's get something popping. Right. Now, what, what kind of message would you have for, or advice for young kids, you know, that growing up in inner city and rough communities, you know, that might use this as an escape, you know, or something to stay out of trouble? Well, truth be told, like I said, I don't just teach boxing. Mm. So I've had some kids that I played, that I was teaching football for high school and, and, and basketball for high school and um, track. I had track girls. I've had them from... Um, from a, from Canarsie High School, mm -hmm. I've trained at least four or five of them. One of them, one of them went to college. She got a scholarship to college. Another one is in the Navy right now, and they call her Super Soldier because she outworks everybody. Mm. So my thing would be is I would tell you one: find something that you love. Don't think about just boxing, just anything that is that that you love, and explore that. Try to indulge yourself and take your time to enjoy what you enjoy doing because that's the best thing. Mentally, things that you get a part of, it helps you mentally and it keeps you out of the street. It occupies your time. And, and at the end of the day, boxing, and I go back to it, boxing is not about fighting. Mm -hmm. It's about being the smarter person in the ring. Absolutely. That's what it's about. And a lot of people think that boxing just go in there and beat somebody's brain out. No. It's about finding where their weaknesses are and where your strengths are and taking advantage of those things. It's about you don't hit somebody just to hit them. You hit them for a reason. You hit them mm. for a purpose. You hit them in a place. You hit them in a certain place. And that's what boxing is about. It's about using your brain. People think that boxers are stupid. But they're not because you have to pay attention to so many other things like how somebody moves their head or how they're breathing or how they're moving their feet or how they're angling because then you have to adjust to do that. That's a thinking man's game. Mm -hmm. And that's a one-on-one -on -one situation. It's not somebody else like a football team or a basketball team and somebody's telling you, hey, you got four people telling you, hey, shift this, move this. You don't have that. You have you and your coach. And that's all you have. And at the end of the day, most of the time it's just you because the coach is on the outside of the ring right. and you're the one getting hit. So I would say think about what you want to do. Use your brain and try to occupy your time with things that are not consistent of having things in the streets that you have to deal with. Mm. So, all right, because I, I, I really appreciate that message, man. It was deep. You know what I mean? For, for all the fans out there that's watching, uh, where, where can we follow you at? How can we get in contact with you? Well, all you have to do is look up Cleavon CJ Evans on Facebook, or you can go to CJ Boxing Coach at gmail.com. Excuse me, it's CJ underscore boxing underscore coach at Instagram. And I also have a Twitter page, but don't worry about the Twitter page. We don't really use that too much. I'll be honest with you. I use my Instagram and my Facebook a lot more, but those are things that you can check me out. And, and, and number-wise, you can always hit me on DMs or Messenger, and then we'll go from there. I'll give you my number, and you can call me. You know, and that's all it is. Absolutely. Coach, do you have any final shout-outs you want to give before we let you go? Um, I want to shout you out, my brother, for doing what you're doing and the way you're doing it. The fact that you're pushing so hard to put the information out there for other people, that's the most important thing because the more people learn about boxing, the more people get down the breakdown from the inside out, that changes the mindset of what people think about boxing. Mm. So I want to say thank you, and that's my shout-out. 
Oh, thank I you so out much, to you So that I can say, continue to do what you're doing. Continue to train hard like you. I've seen you do on many <laughs> occasions. Continue to train hard and just continue to do what you're doing. Thank you so much, Coach. And we and we love to speak to you know the, the great teachers like yourself. We get that wisdom and and that we love using our platform to pass it down to the youth or anybody in that matter. So you know. We appreciate you so much, Coach. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you, and we can't wait to see what's coming up in the future with uh, oh, CJ we Boys got Boxing. got some things coming up. We're going to do something in 2021. That's where we're building all over again since this 2020. Yeah, it was a rough It's year. a whole nother breed of animal, <laughs> and it ain't ours. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, Coach. God bless you, baby. Thank you. You're coming. Peace. All right.